Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. And thank you for joining the webinar with us today. Uh, my name is Pratik, and I am your host for today's webinar. We also have Kushagru with us, who is a senior principal managing consultant for SAP line of business with Realtes. And uh, Kushagra is going to speak to us about how to set up Jewel for SAP S4 HANA Cloud Private Edition. Uh, before we proceed, here's a quick overview about uh, who Realtes is and what we do. So we are an IT consulting organization based out of Austin, Texas. Uh, we are a global organization and have presence in US, Canada, India, UAE, and Singapore. We help Fortune 500 organizations to solve complex issues when it comes to uh, technology, and we specialize in SAP and Salesforce implementations across various verticals. Well, a few of the reasons why customers prefer working with us is number one, when it comes to SAP, we have great amount of experience in implementing SAP solutions. So almost 18 plus years of SAP project management experience. Uh, number two, the trust that we have developed in the industry over the years with the kind of implementations that we have done. And last but not the least, the integrity with which we work with our clients. Uh, those are the three things which makes us one of the uh, favorite uh, consulting organizations amongst our customers. Uh, with this, I will hand it over to Kushagra to speak a little bit more about uh, Jewel S4 HANA Cloud Private Edition. There you go, Kushagra. Thanks, Pratik, for the quick introduction. Uh, hi, uh, myself, Pushagra. I am working with Realtors uh, uh, and uh, working as a solution architect for uh, Realtors. So I help different client. So here we are talking about SAP Joel. First of all, it comes to on our mind that what is SAP Joel? Why it is named as Joel and what is, what is happening? What I can achieve with this? Okay, so in uh, AI uh, right now, this is the century or this is the decade, I would say, for the AI, where everyone is looking for a solution for an AI and uh, natural language processing and etc. So uh, SAP is also kind of uh, integrating the AI with that SAP system. So the old SAP system or the GUI was not that much user uh, friendly or it was so complex. So now SAP is making it very much simpler to use. And even with Joel, uh, it is just, uh, it, it will be like a con conversational AI. So you will have a better user experience, where better uh, streamline of the supply chain procurement and final process uh, finance processes then you can uh, improve the diversity and inclusion where we can connect like you will have just one portal and from there you can get the uh, details or uh, information from all other areas like uh, finance or supply chain or anything or uh, whether it's a human resource and yeah so you know, one can question that uh what will be my data privacy in that case so it is totally secure uh, it uses the secure channels to do that we will check uh, we will see in this session how it is using a secure channel uh, to get the data from the back end sap system to the front end system and getting how it is behaving what needs to be done how the we can set up a joel for private cloud so Currently, Joel is, uh, Joel is offered to success factors and SAP S4 on a private cloud customers. There are no other uh, areas or there are no other pro products SAP is supporting Joel. So right now, uh, because SAP is charging that much high for the success factor and cloud private edition and the customer is the big uh, one so that they uh, they are uh, providing a very suitable so solution for Joule. So uh, there are some, uh, Joule is also available into some data centers only. It is not that it can, we can use it globally. So if your uh, HANA private cloud or success, uh, success factor is in per, implemented or it is uh, subscribed into that particular data center then only you will be able to access joel otherwise uh, you cannot connect joel with uh, your system so that is one uh, 
amendment or whether that is one drawback we could we would say but sap is working on that so that it can be available across the globe and across all the data centers so uh come going to next step is what are the prerequisite what needs to uh, we need to have so that uh uh, Joel can be implemented in S4 on a private cloud. In this session, particularly, we are talking about private cloud because success factors. Uh, the there is a separate uh, that uh, process for that. But uh, this session, we will talk about uh, S4 on a private cloud. Where uh, so what all things are basic prerequisites are there. So you will require SAP build. Uh, SAP BTP sub account, SAP global account, uh, BTP sub account. Uh, then in that you will you need to have a Joel entitlement. Then you must have SAP Build Workzone standard edition of uh, authorization for the th same. Cloud Foundry should be enabled. Then cl cloud connectors should be connected so that we can do the HTTP connection to the backend on-prem system. Then cloud identity service will be used to do the. Uh, for the identity uh, man identity management so uh, the user front end user is a different and back end user can be different to fetch the data and to fetch uh, the required information from the uh, back end system uh, your s4 hana private cloud addition should be greater than uh, addition should be greater than 2023 uh, 3 fps01 otherwise if you have on the lower version of the s4 hana private cloud you won't be uh, uh, able to access joel uh, as well as sap joel is provided to specifically as uh, customers who are on rise with sap so grow with sap and other uh, solutions uh, would not be able to access sap joel uh, in this case so those are this the scope of the sap joel is currently limited sap is working hard to expand the scope expand the joel uh, functionality but uh, but they are gradually uh, expanding so uh, this is how the configuration steps uh, uh, needs to be done for a uh, Joel setup. So uh, there, there should be a BTP global account you, uh, you have, and there is a S4 on a private cloud edition you have. Now between the uh, BTP account and uh, uh, private cloud edition you need to have a specific uh, set of connection via IAS which is a identity man management service and I uh, IAS and IPS then there should be the cloud connector connectivity where you can do the uh, connection between a private cloud and uh, a private a private cloud and BTP account so well, the step by step, step process are the described over here so first of all we will require a technical user which will have almost all kind of authorization in the on-prem system so that that user will work as a base user uh, to fetch the data to do all kind of uh, communications via uh, from btp to on-prem system and from on-prem system to btp system Right. Then there should be a specific or dedicated sub account for Joel, uh, which needs to be created in your BTP global account. We have to enable a uh, booster of SAP Joel and SAP build work zone. Uh, post that we can go ahead and into SAP sub account and then in sub account we can do uh, the uh, entire entitlement for the SAP Joel, SAP, SAP build work zone and then cloud identity services. Uh, cloud Foundry your enablement should be there so that you can uh, the data you required and the data storage we require will be enabled via Cloud Foundry uh, system. Oppose that there is a sp uh, specific requirement to do the connection trust. Establish the trust connection between uh, Joel and the SAP system. So there, uh, over there, there is a uh, we can. Uh, there are different different as per your IP address, as per your IP configurations. We have to do the trust connection based on that. Then there is a there is a cloud connector. You need to do uh, that as you are on on prem system. You uh, you will have some server where you need to do the cloud connector uh, settings for, for to add the sub account into cloud connector. Via cloud connector, you can connect the uh, your sub account to the uh, on-prem system and your communication 
will be established add and destination as a, a of the on prem system and then the the de once the destination will be added uh, as you we need to do the connection check if everything is green uh, we are good to go post that we have to create a content provider so create a content provider is necessary uh, because your uh, uh, joel will not be activated uh, easily so you need to have a build work zone kind of uh, layout for that there will be a site created for the same uh, based on the user roles so you will be able to a user can be able to see different tiles different uh, different options same for joel uh, cont uh, if we enable the content provider we will be able to see the joel option on the top of uh, the screen and then uh, up last but not the least we need to do the activate uh, configure and activation of the plugin joel plugin for fury launchpad so fury launchpad uh, mostly the build work zone will work on uh, fury launchpad so your build work zone and fury launchpad will, uh, will be connected and the joel will be uh, displayed on the top of the screen so that's how the uh, uh, connectivity is happening uh, between the joel between btp account and the between btp account and the uh, your s4 on a private cloud system so there are all data service the technical user will be used for the connect, uh, cloud connector system all data services will be called for the same the the trust connection we have done via IAS, ips systems you where user will be he will be able to see only web application so where web application is nothing but your fury launchpad so in fury launchpad you uh, there will be a plugin for the ui plugin for joel and uh, btp will be there and there will be the backend connectivity with with uh, private cloud addition so you will have a foolproof system that your uh, data integrity is there your uh, system connection is correct and you will have uh, access to the system uh, throughout a day so this mostly the, these are the steps needs to be performed to activate joule now uh, how do you uh, that demo how what are we expecting or well, how to use joel so that 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 is a screen uh, uh, this is the screen we are getting we can create in in build work zone uh, where we can uh, see the icon on top of the screen like this diamond icon which is sap joel so we have to click on this link uh, this button and then the pop up will be displayed like this uh, so so chatbot uh, generally we are using chatbot or for ja or chat gpt or any on any other websites uh, we are going in where we uh, chat with maybe it's a banking app or anywhere we are able to see this kind of pop up that we can we need to, we can uh, talk to the boats right we can talk to the uh, automated ai board so that's where we uh that's how sap is also config uh, has configured the joel we can open it in a separate chat so we can ask a question like view job title so whose job title whose information do you want to view that's what the, the joel is asking so i am providing my user id which is m cooper so the, if i am providing it there is a employee and his their job role are this so mostly there are uh this kind of questions or anything uh if you want to see what are today's what is my today's sales or what is my today's uh billing so everything we can so uh, have a look tile for the same we can have a proper uh, uh, kpis we have to configure and etc but yeah we can do it uh on screen as well as we, uh, we can configure joel to do the same operation for us so i think uh, uh that's it from mine any questions the floor is open for the questions Maybe you can type in the chat. Let's give it a minute. Otherwise, sure. yeah, otherwise we'll conclude.
Wonderful. Thank you so much, Kushagra, for your valuable insights on SAP Geo. Uh, at any point of time, if you guys have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at realtest.com or there are certain uh, IDs based on geography as well. Uh, you can visit our website to learn more about what we guys are doing. There's some amazing content uh, which is available on the website, some amazing blogs that we keep on posting. Uh, we keep having webinars on SAPs on every Tuesdays, as well as if you guys have some interest in Salesforce, then you can meet us every Thursday at the same time. Uh, and that's it from our side. Thank you so much once again for joining the webinar. Uh, we will meet next Tuesday for the next upcoming webinar. Keep uh, follow us on LinkedIn and you will see what the topics uh, are that we are going to speak about. Thank you so much once again. Hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, rest of the evening. Good night if people are joining from other part of the world. Thank you.